Welcome to Techno with me. Let's understand Vertex AI Agent Builder. So we are going to build one travel agent and then understand different tool technology, web search function and open API. So this is the architecture of the travel agent or the data flow of travel agent application that we are going to build. The user will ask query and that query will go to Google Vertex AI platform and then first it will come to travel agent app. Okay, so that app will be built on the travel like Vertex AI. So the query will then or the LLM will then decide based on different queries. Okay, if the query is related to cities, then it will go to data store and then through RAG, the information will be retrieved from Google Cloud Storage and then respond to the user. So this is one part that we are going to develop and then we are going to create one API, open API specification that will connect to third party API. So any queries related to currency converter will go and talk to third party API and get the response from that particular API through the open API specification of agent builder tool concept and then provide the response. And another one will create one cloud function. We'll deploy that cloud function. And then through OpenAI API specifications, we'll connect to that one. And then any queries related to temperature of a city will be invoked through this particular route. And then respond will go back to the user. Anything else apart from these queries will be go to normal LLM path. And then query response will come from the LLM and then it will go to the user. So this is the architecture that we are going to develop. So for that one, very first thing that we need to come, we need to come to Agent Builder. Search for Agent Builder. Click on Agent Builder. And you will land to this particular page. So here we need to create app. Click on Create App. In the last video, we have created document search app. This time, what we are going to do, we are going to create app related to conversational agent. This will be on the generative AI. Click on create. This is the first pop-up page. Use pre-built agent. There are various pre-built agents are there. You can definitely choose from there and then use for your own application. Build your own total control to us we will create this particular agent this is called build your own and then create QA agent so for this particular use case we need our own agent click on it and give a name travel query agent and then location time zone and then playbook or flow playbook is related to generative AI so Select that playbook and click on create. Now go to playbook section, click on playbooks. This is the conversational agent applications where, or this is the agent where we have landed. Now let's create a playbook. Travel agent playbook let's just give the name or maybe travel agent query give a goal help users with travel queries okay this is the goal and this is the instructions instructions will be having the system instructions that first the greet the user then ask how to how you can help them today. So if you want to understand the sample, click on this one, sample. Get the user, then ask how you help them today. Summarize the user's request if necessary. Seek clarifying uh, details and use tool and playbook. You can uh, uh, take help from any tool or you can take help from any playbook and then provide that answer. Let's copy it and paste it over here. Okay. So get the user. Hi, how are you? How can I help you today? Okay. 
and then first we are going to help user with the arrange okay let's put it delete it let's create a tool first okay so now click on save and then click on data store and data store will automatically come to tools okay from here also you can start this particular this particular data store creation concept also okay so if you come to tools and then this particular page will come after creating the tools let's go click on the tools and then create this is the one okay then we will map to that particular uh, playbook or the agent let's give a name ct info this is the tool name and the type here open api data store and function open api is for to connect to the api we need to give json or yml payload to get the response and then llm will automatically parse the request and response from the query user query and then send to api and from api any response will come that will also go back to the user so that we will explore okay first we are focusing on the data store fetch ct information from data store okay let's go to the cloud storage okay the buckets over here so this is the travel city bucket okay that i have created you can create a bucket by clicking on the create bucket that is very common thing so now once you create that particular bucket you can upload a document so click on this upload file and then you can upload a document or folder i just wanted to show you this is one of the document that we have here which is related to city information okay there are certain city informations over there let me show you what type of document is this so this is the document okay few informations related to different cities are already there in this particular document what i want i want my particular assistant or agent to first look into this particular document and get that information from this document that's why i have uploaded this document to the bucket click on get a create data store and this is the page where we navigate it okay so click on agree put a name of your company own okay that's fine and then agent name is already already there location is fine click on continue see this is the travel city document right this is the one okay yeah why it is not showing that particular travel city because let's see yeah because this is not in this particular region so let's create a data store first okay so let's click on the cloud storage and then browse to our travel city select on it continue and then give a data store name we'll give a data store name travel city document and as we know we can parse that particular process that particular document with layout parser or digital parser right but as this is unstructured document that's why this will take layout person and here the rg will take place okay so this particular parsing and this particular indexing will be done by the rg so we don't need to build any rg for here so click on create and then click on create this will take a little bit of time to indexing and create all the embedding and prepare uh, this particular uh, data set okay or data store so that's why we need to wait a little bit of time so this is it is showing the indexing website or set of documents can take few minutes or days depending on the amount of data 
be sure to test your agent before releasing it to public for the first time. So that's what. So click on it and see the activity gets completed or anything is showing over here. So you can see processing data over here. Click on activity. And you can see importing progress. So let's wait for the import data has completed. Now let's go to our agent. Refresh it. And then click on the display name. Okay, so travel city document, right? This is what we have created. Travel city document. So select that one. And then this is the grounding options. Like you can look into this one, grounding settings, grounding. Uh, you can make it low. If we have a low confidence that the response is grounded, okay? You can select anything very low, low, medium, high. And then give a company name own and then save it. So this is the very first tool connected. We need to connect this particular thing with our travel agent query. Click on the travel agent query playbook and then connect with the city info. Okay. So that is the one that tool that we created. Click on it. And then here we need to refer this one. So go here, fetch city information and respond to user. Use dollar tool, which tool? City info to fetch. CT information. Okay. Full stop. And then click on save. Let's close this one. Now let's see the conversation history. Click on it. So this is the environment where you can test it. So I have various agents over there, but I will just go and then select this travel agent query that we created models you can select of this either of those three models over here all Gemini are listed over here so click and then put hi hi there how can i help you today please share information about tokyo Japan. Let's see whether it's connected to data store. See, this is the tool, CT info tool that we created. And these are the action. This is the input parameter. This is the output the output parameter. Japan is a mesmerizing blend of ancient traditions and futuristic technology. Let's go and then see the same thing is present in the document or not. The same information is present in this particular document, right? Futuristic technology. So that's the there's the proof of the accuracy of this particular application that it's actually going to the data store of cloud storage, which is present. That particular document is present in the cloud storage, and then uh, with the help of uh, 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 like layer parsing, with the help of RDG, it retrieve that information and provide that information to the user. So this is the one part of our architecture, right? Let's go to the architecture and understand. So this is the part that is complete. Okay, so CT place information is actually coming from RDG. Now let's go to the currency converter where we'll create one open API specification and then it will connect to the third party API. Okay, 